you guys it's Lee Moore and I'm here with a tutorial video now I picked up I was at Michael's and I picked up you know those two dollar um, I guess they're they're kind of like those uh, two dollar grab bags I guess that Michael has at the end of the season and um, in that bag there was a schwack of these really cute Kleenex boxes but I mean this is the letter P and it really just doesn't suit me um, and I wanted to make some cute little Kleenex boxes to sit on my craft desk or my office or kind of anywhere in the house really so what I did is I actually took one apart um, so that I could put it back together and create my own little Kleenex box so here's a tutorial on how I did that so I'm gonna mute this um, and I'm gonna do this kind of in a little bit of fast forward and so sit back grab a coffee wine whatever you want and enjoy and really all I did is I took the box apart um, and I I kinda you know what I kinda made it slightly different just because um, it didn't quite sit right for me but um, I will show you how this looks and with the finished product thanks for watching guys okay hang on tight here we go so I've traced the image and now all I'm doing is I'm just cutting it around and till I have the full box cut next I'm going to take my Martha Stewart scoring board and I'm just going to score all the um, lines that I need to in order to be able to fold the box um, once it's ready Next, I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the hole of the Kleenex box so that I can pull the Kleenex through. Once I've cut that, I want to just start folding my box and making sure that everything just sort of fits on uh, okay before I go ahead and glue it. So that's all I'm doing here and just showing you how to fold your Kleenex to put it inside the box that I use is embossed so I went ahead and sprayed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang. I believe I used um, cotton candy pink uh, from the Starburst Stains collections and I'm just wiping it off with a little bit of Kleenex so that I it wouldn't get so much excess. I can now start assembling my box and I like to use a hot glue gun. Now you can use uh, double-sided sticky tape, red tape, whatever you want to use but as long as it's um, it's going to be probably used a lot so you want to make sure that you're using something that's really going to stick and not fall apart on you. Now you want to make sure that you leave one of the sides without gluing because you're going to want to be able to put your Kleenex through before um, you glue it down. But uh, what I'm going to use is some Velcro strips so that I can keep refilling this box. Otherwise I'm going to feel like I'm wasting some beautiful paper and some beautiful embellishments on a box that's only going to last a little bit so I just put velcro so that I can keep opening and closing it as I wish to fill it it is now time to embellish your box now make sure that when you are embellishing your box right here I'm just using some lace that I had and as you can see I'm cutting it right away because the next part that I'm uh, gluing on is where the flap is where the velcro um, opens up so I want to make sure that it's not constricted when I place my ribbon. So you want to make sure that you cut those ends so that you can still open your box and be able to refill your Kleenex. So that's all I'm doing here and I'm just going all around the box making sure that all my seams are totally sealed. And then I went ahead and grabbed some Carla S001 um, flat, uh, white uh, flat, flat pearls, um, flat back pearls, I can't even speak and I glued that all around just to give it a little bit of a nicer shabby chic look and I again I went all around and I made sure that I cut it in the space where my flap in the velcro is and just make sure that I really lined it up so that you can't actually tell that um, oh and see I forgot to on here I forgot to to cut it so there I cut it and now it fits perfectly and I was having a little piece um, sticking out a little bit so I just recut a little bit so that it fits a little bit nicer. And then all I all I did is I went with some Carla S001 trim all around the opening of the Kleenex just to give it, give it um, a, a much cleaner look and that you can see some of the rough edges of where I had cut the center.
I now went into my vintage lace pile and um, I just put it all around the box except for the one side which once again it's the side where the Vel velcro strap is so you'll see as I go along I just did it on three sides of the box because I want to leave the other side um, available to just keep refilling so that's all I'm doing here just cut it and that's it those are the three sides and then once again I went all around and I used some Carla S001 white flat back pearl trim and uh, I will post the link below for you guys to check that out as well and it's just I'm just gluing and I like to use my hot glue gun just because it's easy um, and really really fast especially for something like plastic like flat back pearls see and my that still opens up okay and those are the I am roses I'm using t30 um, is the name and then some white um, they are l0151 leaves white leaves that I'm spraying with my mojito green starburst spray from Lindy stamp gang and I'm just heating that up with my heat gun really quick and then I'm just placing them on my box in no particular order just on the corner I don't want to over embellish this because it's probably going to be handled a lot like I said earlier so I didn't want to um, just put too many things um, and then I'm spraying the flowers a little bit just to give it a little bit of a different color a little bit of yellow and I'll put all the links below to all these leaves um, and all the flowers um, actually I'll post the link to my blog and then on my blog I'll have all the links to the different flowers so you can just go right onto the I am roses website and take a look I love those little leaves they're like a three-tone leaves they've got pink green and white I just absolutely love them I think they're so precious just placing them everywhere on my page can you see those cute little leaves oh I just love them there we go and then all I'm doing is just wrapping some of that wire around a pen um, just to, as an extra accent and that was just left over from the leaf the white leaf that I used so use your scraps you guys it's pretty awesome and then an, a different type of um, flower which I again I will post the link on my blog for you to see ran out of glue I had to get some more and here we go finished project take a look all the pictures the still pictures are there for you thanks for watching